Hey, what is up, guys? Coming to you today with the what's next on former middleweight champion of the world, Rob Brandt. Uh, Brandt returned to action on Saturday, August 22nd on ESPN, uh, was it Plus? I can't remember if he was on the Plus card. I think it was on Plus. Anyways, yeah, he fought on the undercard of that and um, got a win. Fifth round TKO over, under previously, I believe he was previously undefeated, Vitaly Kopalenko. Uh, not really a big name, but Brandt dominated him. He returned from a about a 13 and a half month layoff uh, after a second round TKO defeat to, um, what's his name, um, Rio de Morada in their rematch. Now, I out, found out some answers after the fight that uh, apparently the third fight with Murata and Brandt hasn't been discussed uh, at all this year because um, I guess uh, Brandt was saying that uh, they, they banned international travel, which, yeah, they, that makes sense. But certain countries have opened it up. But um, uh, United States and Japan, I suppose, haven't. And Murata fights out of Japan. So hopefully, um, you know, in the before the end of the year, that gets kind of cleared up and we can see these two guys back in the ring at the end of this year or early next year. But, um, you know, that would be the desired what's next for Rob Brent. Um, you know, what, what I'd like to see him do next is get that third fight with Murata. I think he deserves it. He came out of nowhere and dominated Murata the first fight, decided to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in the second fight. That was a mistake, and he got caught, and he got knocked out. But he had an obligated ma uh, mandatory uh, third fight in the contract, and um, I'm hoping that comes through um, once, you know, things start to loosen up with the coronavirus pandemic and everything. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, but, yeah, I would like... That would my, be my desired what's next for Rob Brent. But um, uh, anybody else in the top 10, I mean, it just depends on who's available, really. Um, I would love to see Brent and Chris Eubank Jr. go at it if uh, Top Rank and the PBC could come together. But I doubt it because those are kind of two guys that have been left out. Um, maybe Bob Arum could talk to Demetrius Andre if Andre doesn't get a big fight. Um, you know, maybe uh, Bob Arum and, uh, and Eddie Hearn could get together for that. Those are kind of the top 10 opponents that I think might be uh, possible, but, you know, um, not likely because, again, ESPN, uh, Rob Brandt doesn't have a lot of options. Fight. There's not a lot of guys fighting for top rank that are um, in the top 10. So, actually, I think Rob Brandt and uh, Rio de Murata are the only two. So, um, you know, might be difficult for Brandt to get a big-time opponent. If he can't, you know, just stay busy in his next fight, maybe return before the end of the year and get another win you know that was a good successful win he only went five rounds uh maybe he can return before the end of the year uh maybe december and uh, get another big win stay busy and try to keep moving up the ladder maybe get into some kind of an eliminator but as for now that seems to be it um again high hopes for the rio de Murata rubber match um you know but more likely in my opinion unless that can come out of nowhere and Murata's willing to fight after uh, almost a year layoff uh, by the time the fight could be possible I'm thinking uh, more likely maybe end of the year early Jan in January when Rob Brandt returns to take maybe another stay busy or some of uh, some type of uh, an eliminator in the WBA all right guys that's the what's next on former middleweight champion of the world Rob Brandt my number nine middleweight right now okay hope you enjoyed it true boxing you've been hit with the truth